How are we doing, everyone? Welcome back. We have an interview today with Adam McDonald, class of 2019. He is currently an inside sales representative for the Charlotte Hornets. Adam, thanks for joining us and taking the time today. Appreciate it, Jonathan. Thank you for having me. Of course. So what are some of the memories from your Cortland experience in the sport management department that stick with you? Maybe be a specific course, a professor, or maybe an event that you were a part of? Yeah, I mean, so first thing that comes to mind, I guess a class would always have to be uh, any of uh, Professor Vizenios's, uh classes. I, I always really enjoyed his, uh, you know, ethics class. I, I took actually a couple classes with him. He was definitely one of my all-time favorite professors. Um, I guess like another thing that always has stood out in my mind was the Cortica games. Yeah, uh, I actually had the pleasure of uh, working under – Mia Bonacor through my senior year, just working with all events. I was actually here. Uh, I actually helped her out setting up YouTube live streams and everything like that. So, you know, I kind of had a, a little bit of a part in helping out with the Cortica game that year. So um, I really enjoyed doing that and just kind of, you know, learning a little bit more about that kind of stuff and learning about that rivalry I was always really into. Yeah, I think everybody really enjoyed the Cortica games every year. It's something we really look forward to. Yeah. Um, what, what are some lessons that you've learned that still stick with you today in your current position with the Hornets? Yeah. So one of the things that I remember professor Han was always, you know, really getting into us about was, uh, you know, always being, being able to grind it out. Like, you know, nothing's given to you in this world nowadays. So, you know, everybody wants that same position. Everybody wants to, you know, work as hard as they possibly can. So, the thing that I always took away from, you know, my time at Cortland and, you know, really every single professor was don't be afraid to grind it out. Don't be afraid to stay that extra hour. Don't be, you know, afraid to ask questions. Exactly. Going out there and just trying to work as hard as you possibly can every single second of every day. Yeah, I've heard that a lot lately as far as, you know, the work ethic and, you know, putting in the time, asking those important questions, not being afraid to go out of your comfort zone and learn more about the industry um, that can set you apart. Um, as far as your, your internship with Syracuse University, you were in ticket sales, correct? Yes. And, and now your current role as an inside sales representative with the Charlotte Hornets, have you always kind of geared yourself to being in the sales department? I know it's a, a great way to break into the industry, um, but have you kind of, move towards going into the sales um, to start off or do you see yourself maybe transitioning to a different department? Yeah, I mean, I, I love sales to be completely honest. I um, didn't really think I was gonna do it at first when I first decided to become a sport management major, uh, mm -hmm. but I actually took a, a class with Professor uh, Lawrence and she, you know, really kind of showed just how, you know, essential it is for every single sports team to have ticket reps and you know, get people out to the games and everything like that. So um, that really kind of drove me to want to do ticket sales and continue to actually do it. Cause you know, at, at the end of the day, one of my main jobs is to help make sure that fans are enjoying themselves and that they're having the best experience possible when they do come out to the games. And that's what I really have taken away from this whole process through sales is, you know, as long as you can do do that, then, you know, it's a great job and it's a great position to have it be, be yourself in, I guess I should say. Right. Um, I've, I've kind of, you know, tried to mold myself and, you know, my skills into kind of going that route as well, uh, breaking into the industry with sales. So um, it's great to hear that some advice there with the sales department. As far as your experience within the college setting at Syracuse and now the professional setting, how do you see them uh, differ or maybe compare? Yeah, I mean, so when I was at Syracuse, I was, um, I was selling both football and basketball as opposed to with the Charlotte Hornets, I'm only doing basketball. So right. um, with, you know, being in that college level, you have a couple different sports that you're always going to be selling. And. Um, that's what really kind of made that really interesting for me was that I was able to kind of learn about two different sports and kind of different avenues to try and to talk to people and just having those different conversations because really at the end of the day, 
the conversations are going to be different with every sport and, you know, anything like that. So, um, you know, I really learned that through Syracuse and then through, you know, working with the Hornets, you also learn a lot about, you know, just different techniques and just, you know, just building those relationships with people at the end of the day. Right. Those relationships are very important to keep, um, especially in the sales industry. I mean, um, what are some of the, you know, day-to-day operations that uh, occur for the Hornets before the pandemic, before this all happened? What were some of your daily operations like? Yeah. So, I mean, and every day, like we were there from 8.30 to, to 5, um, we would, you know, like what I was saying, you go in there and you grind it out for as long as you possibly can. And you just try to get in touch with as many different people as possible. You try to build relationships and you try to, you know, better yourself and you better, you know, the way that you're talking to people on your phone and you're just trying to every single day, try to get on the phone with as many different people as possible. So then you can, you know, work yourself through that process. So that's what I always really, that that's what I've do every single day. What What's some advice that you can give, um, you know, myself and, and other students as far as breaking into the industry? I know you mentioned the work ethic and, you know, always reaching out to ask those important questions, but maybe something that, you know, you wish that you had coming into the industry that maybe you would give some advice to other students. Don't be afraid to take that next jump. I remember when Um, you know, when I first took the position with the Hornets, it was definitely one of those things that you have to to trust yourself and you have to know that, you know, everything is going to be fine. And that, you know, as long as you go in there and as you work as hard as you possibly can, you know, and you trust that process, everything is going to work out the exact way that it's supposed to happen. And that's one thing that, you know, that I've really taken away from this time when I moved down here to Charlotte was that, you know, as long as you're working hard and that, you're building relationships with the people around you at work and you're just, you know, like what I've said, trusting that process, everything's going to work out. Now that we're kind of leaning towards the end of the pandemic, but we're still in the middle of it. What are, how has it changed or altered your, your position with the Hornets in Charlotte? Um, it really honestly hasn't changed it at all. We're, you know, still lucky enough that we're, you know, able to make phone calls from our, from our houses and, we're able to still get in contact with people and we're still able to, you know, build those relationships. And look what I said. I mean, we're, we're talking as a, as a team every day. So yeah. it's, you know, we're, we're staying in contact and it's, it's definitely one of those great things that, you know, it's, it's really helped out a lot. Well, that's good. I mean, not all of us are, you know, fortunate enough to be able to continue to work in the industry because of this pandemic. It's great to hear that you're still able to work at home and, um, sounds like you still have the main duties that you've had uh, before this pandemic currently going on. So that's good. Um, what are some, what's the culture as far as the, the Charlotte Hornets have there? I mean, how has the relationships you've built there kind of molded you into becoming, you know, a sales rep? What's the culture like there? Very hardworking. We're, uh, I, I like to think of us as, you know, whenever I say we're grinding it out and everything like that, that's exactly the way that every day is. Every single person that I work with in that that organization is every day. It's a grind it out mentality, and we're always working as hard as we possibly can to to do whatever we can to better ourselves, and then you know, at that same stage, better a fan experience for them as well, so that everybody is enjoying themselves and they're able to come out. Uh, where where do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself in the next maybe three to five years? Uh, I mean, hopefully still with the Charlotte Hornets and just continuing to to work in sales and continuing to better myself and bettering relationships. Because I mean, at the end of the day, sales is one of those things that you can continue to work in for forever. Like it's one of those things that as long as you're able to, you know, build relationships and build rapport with people. Um, you know, you can basically do it for as long as you want. So, I mean, I love sales right now. I love being able to kind of have, make people's experience at games that much better. So I definitely think that that's the road that I can see myself continuing to go down is, is in sales. Awesome. Well, Adam, I thank you very much for taking your time and giving us some advice and some pointers. 
um, to not only myself trying to enter the industry and to also future students as well. So thanks again, Adam. I appreciate it and I hope we can stay connected. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks, Adam.